Can you hear me? Uh, slightly far, but we can. Okay. So uh, let me share my screen. I'm sharing it from my phone because okay. my laptop is not functioning right now. Okay. But, but you, you, we can see your screen now. Your screen is. Can, can you see it? Yeah, we can see it. So uh, the objective is uh, to develop an Ethereum based app that has both smart contracts that is tested and deployed on the testnet. So we are also expected to develop a front end application. So let me go to the approach I used. Uh, first, I designed a mobile app for the employee for the employer so that he could add uh, an employee using the employee's address the latitude longitude the maximum address and the payment amount per compliance then uh, we have to design a the app for the employees side from which they can uh, uh, they can just uh, agree with the agreement and they uh, send their latitude and they get paid for that so uh, I've written the smart contract in Solidity. This is the this is the code for the employee to store the latitude, longitude, uh, radius, and payment in a, in a Solidity storage in a, in a, on the block chain. So this one is to set or to add employee to the blockchain. This is only available or visible to the employer uh, and this one is to list employees uh, and to perform payments uh, then so we have this endpoint is to interact with the blockchain or the smart contract i, I have written uh, then i have tried to interact with it on the remix ethereum so that i could understand or get the idea how i'm going to interact with the smart contract uh, i have Wrote. So after that, I deployed the smart contract on a Ganache testnet network. Uh, then here you can see the smart contract deployed on the testnet. It has storage and it has also some, when you perform some transaction, it, it can also be available for and be seen on the network. So this one is the front end, flutter front end to interact with the smart contracts uh, the network of the testnet is 192.168.1.5 and the port number is 7545 so we can interact with this network using the front end so this one is what i finally achieved first the user will log in as admin and uh, he can insert the employee, as I said previously, using the information, then uh, the the employee can also see the list of the registered employees, their uh, radius, their latitude, and their uh, successful compliance counts. And then he can also track the employee by clicking on the red uh, icon. So this one is for the employee side front end, uh, as soon as they turn on the location tracking, the last student along the will be sent, then if it is successfully uh, successful or it, it fits the condition, they, their compliance account will increase, then they will get paid. So that's it. Thank you. Excellent. That was really good. Thank you, Degaga. Um, okay, we have Fisa. Yeah, uh, hello everyone. Uh, let Hi. me just share my screen. I think it's visible, right? 
Yes, it's visible. Yeah, okay. Uh, I didn't create a presentation, but let me just show the demo. I think we all are familiar with the basic concepts and tasks that were required for this week's task. So let me just go to the demo, okay? So uh, like we have this uh, uh, front-end application, a uh, web application that can interact with both employers and employees. I tried to set up the, I tried to create a mobile application, but installation time and my PCs uh, was stacking so much, and I just proactively decided to simulate the mobile environment on the web part, and basically the the mobile functionality is implemented in this web app, and also from the smart contract side, so a simple web application that can, a simple mobile application that is created, uh, that, that will be created, can also be uh, used because the smart the smart contract is uh, fully functional. So uh, when we come to the employer side, first we have to connect to a wallet, a MetaMask wallet. So I have imported several uh, accounts here, and just to show you, I can yeah, let's import this all of them, and let's connect. So once it's connected, it will give me the address. And once the smart contract is uh, created, I cre I give it uh, this uh, this dummy uh, uh, company details, and company details can also be edited here. But the one that created the company can only uh, edit these details. So for this case, this is the employee address. So basically, I can change the company name to some other address and some test. So when I get back and see it, it's changed. But now if I try to uh, do this again, it will tell me this account cannot be updated because the address has been changed. So I can also add uh, employees. And employee, uh, employees need to have an address, uh, duration in days. They can have some role. The latitude, maybe, yeah. And I use this latitude and longitude offset. Like, for example, if the latitude is like this, we can have uh, an offset of three, and we can just input the latitude in generally like this so that's why i created this offset and we can have also our and accepted range also in meters so we can add this employee and we can uh, see the total number of employees this smart contract uh, has so yeah, we can also get this by their ID or by their uh, individual status, where we can see the duration where they started. This is not changed to date time, but uh, yeah, you get the point, right? So when we come back to this, uh, when we yeah, when we go to the simulation part, the simulation I talked about earlier about the mobile application part. This is basically that one. So the the user will use his his or her mobile application in order to connect to this smart contract and send uh, send the latitude and longitude. So basically, this will not be filled; it will be generated by uh, using the mobile application's native location. So and it will update; it will click update every time. It will send its uh, updates every time. Uh, programmatically, and we can see these locations, how many locations there are, and the general track of the locations. This user has been already created, and as you can see, these two locations have been tracked at uh, this time. This is the 
this is calculated on the smart contract and it's it will basically give us the current time. So when we come to the details, uh, uh, the employer can see the details. And basically, this when uh, when a uh, when an employee is created in the smart contract, its contract status will be zero. And this this again can will be uh, you know will be changed to a value which I I used zero as it means contract has been signed and one has been activated. So as soon as the user or the employee starts sending this, uh, this is this is not this is just the way I, I implemented it. So as soon as the, an employee starts sending uh, the location to this smart contract, it will basically activate the smart contract and give it a status of one. And so again, if I go and we can see here the accepted range is five, right? So anything below after that will reject will uh, will make it invalid will make the contract status invalid so if we go back to the employee side and give it like some values that will that will uh, when calculated that can now we give it 15 right so when this is calculated it will actually be greater than uh, five so this value when calculated will be greater than five right so the status will basically fail and when we if we go to the details part sorry if we go to the details part and see now this status has been changed to two which basically means it has been rejected and based on that the the employer will make transactions if the contract status is only activated and uh, yeah, I think this is it. This is basically what I've managed to do. And yeah, excellent. Thank you. excellent. This is great. You know, this is one of the things that, you know, when you can't do one thing, show that you have done five things or four things. And it's really, you applied it well on this case. So well done. It's really good work. Um, Adam Kip. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. Okay, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, we do. Okay. Uh, uh, in this week, uh, the task was uh, to build smart contract. Uh, and also, uh, in, in this project, I have done the following tasks. Uh, first, I build a smart contract, and then I deployed uh, the smart contract. Uh, and also, I build uh, the employer dashboard. And uh, I build an Android app for the employee. Uh, and then, uh, in the smart contract part, I write the contract using Solidity and the contract has the following functions. Uh, the function to add an employee to get the registered employees to check uh, the location and also the location, the check location function needs uh, calculate radius and also uh, to pay the employee. These are the functions the smart contract uh, and in the deployment part i used gurali network uh, and i deployed on the alchemy platform uh, and this the alchemy platform uh, gave me a link to connect the smart contract with uh, my front end uh, and in the dashboard uh, i used Next.js to build the dashboard uh, and I connected with the deployed smart contract and to connect with the smart contract I used the Alchemy Web3 uh, 
library and also uh, to connect with the contract, I should provide the contract address and the contract ABI file. Uh, and the, I spent most of the, my time uh, on this part because uh, first, uh, for the deployment part, I need uh, I need some cryptos, test cryptos for uh, the gas fee. So it was difficult for me to find uh, a Gurali test uh, cryptos. So I spent most of my time to to find websites to give me uh, to give me some uh, currency. So uh, and I tried to talk some people on uh, on Discord uh, and also uh, in this part the main, uh, the main broker was uh, to talk with the front end. I tried so many to, so many uh, things and finally it worked but uh, it was late and also I didn't do uh, that much. Uh, on this part and then i built the android app uh, to build the android app i used java uh, and also the, the task of uh, this app is to detect the positions of the employee and to send that to the employer uh, and uh, in this part, I learned uh, so many lessons. Uh, to mention some examples, I learned uh, smart contract writing and deploying. Uh, I learned about uh, how the Ethereum works, how the Ethereum network works. Uh, and also I learned how, the, uh, uh, how to build uh, the app. Uh, let me just show uh, something that they, it's not complete, but uh, let me show something. For example, le let me start with the, the Android app. So uh, in, the, in, in the Android app, I just uh, detect the locations of uh, the, the employee and uh, I just show it uh, on the page. So I just, I just allow it uh, to get permissions and it shows me the latitude and the longitude of my location, and it sends this uh, this location to uh, the web dashboard. So uh, in the in the web dashboard part, this is uh, a form that the employer uses to register the employees. It first enters the full name, then uh, the address and also uh, the latitude and uh, the longitude and also it will put the range and when I click register uh, let me just show you the output from the console this is uh, a new added employee uh, I that the dashboard is uh, not simply that uh, because of certain things I could do before, so if I get some time, I can can complete it. Hopefully, I can complete it after the training. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for really being like considerate as well, also in terms of like the details um, and you know presenting exactly what what you have and what you have achieved. So excellent work, Michael. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. Uh, on my end, uh, I have tried to implement uh, various parts of the project, not uh, being uh, completed all in all. However, I have. Uh, uh, implemented uh, the smart contracts and uh, tested it on both the remix ide and also the hard hat no local host and also i have uh, managed to build a front-end application for the uh, 
mobile app so uh, let me share it so can you see my screen yes we do okay so uh, this is uh, the on the page of uh, the mobile application and it have some drop down for the user to select whether he is an employee or an employer if he is an employer he will uh, add some password and he will try to log in from here so for the employer to connect to the uh, account he will be asked to be uh, connected with the metamask account so he will press this connect and for the mobile i haven't integrated some uh, metamask but for the web dashboard i have integrated the metamask verification process and uh, the employer can create a contract through creating uh, an employee so he can press this one and he can create some contract here which he provides an employee name address latitude longitude and distance required for the employer uh, for the employee to be in while working so uh, he also the employer can also track uh, Uh, so uh, the employee uh, after pressing this start work so in the background the location will be turned on and the application will be uh, tracking the location of the employee which will be synced to the web dashboard of the employer uh, this is uh, much like i shared the mobile implementation with that of the uh web dashboard so it's uh, both of them are the same uh, and this is what i have uh, tried to achieve and uh, i can also uh, show uh, my uh, smart contract tests So uh, let me share my screen from my PC. Can you see my screen? Yeah, it's coming now. Yeah, on the smart contract part, I have tried to write uh, uh, a contract like this. So, uh, as you can see, the uh, smart contract consists of uh, several things. Like, uh, we can have a simpler walkthrough, and uh, there is uh, some events that will be emitted for the front-end application to be contacted with and there will be some accounts that represent the employee in the employer for this case i have used i have assumed only one employee and we can make it uh, many employees later after implementing uh, the functionality with one employee so for the employee struct i have uh, different uh, components or different attributes of uh, the employee struct so employee name longitude and latitude are some of them and uh, also, uh, so the set employee method is a method that the, the employer uses to set an employee and to provide, like we have seen on uh, the mobile part, we have seen that the employer can provide uh, several attributes of an, an employee when creating a contract. Then uh, there is also a method that allows the, um, 
employer to get all employees and to get an employee by its address and he can also uh, like uh, count the number of employees he have on the smart contract and so uh, the uh, contract condition is the main logic of this uh, application where i've tried to uh, implement the uh, location tracking in uh, uh, some other things so the this contract condition method will uh, get the address the distance in the uh, how that these two attributes are fetched from the front-end application of the employee and uh, some hashing is uh, done here and if that hashing of the result is equal to the uh, approved hash so uh, some transactions will be performed like here and if uh, based on uh, this set contract uh, method defined uh, later on here uh, the set contract uh, checks for that if the end hour and the uh, if the hour that is fetched is between the end hour and the between i mean the like between the range of the working hour of the employee it returns approved so if this string the hash of this string is the same as to that of the result so uh, the employee can uh, can receive some payment and also if uh, we can see it here like if it is uh, out of this start and end house so this is out of compliance so the employer is not supposed to pay for uh, uh, work outside of the working time range so it returns out of compliance uh, for the hash of this string that is the hash of the out of compliance is compared with that of the result and if it is so it is returned with a status of out of compliance and time is up also there to be implemented uh, this is uh, much about what i've been trying to uh, do and also uh, uh, one of my blockers where uh, the template code provided in react native haven't worked for me and have tried it uh, like uh, one day in half and it have wasted a lot of time uh, but i have managed to uh, build my own uh, application from scratch and try to achieve these things so far thank you really excellent thanks michael also for walking us through the code sometimes that's very important for people to see and uh okay Adi, 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 did you raise your hand? I think I know. I think this is what we probably talked. A number of people manage to do a lot of stuff, and sometimes it really feels not good to present our work. But even if just you have a code that you want to walk through, I think that's also sufficient, right? So um, maybe is there anyone who actually can show us like what they attempt? some can be successful some not successful i mean we are, we run out of time but let's give one or two and also i don't i don't know why we reduced so much the number like now it's not 18. i don't know why people left is that because there is another meeting or Okay. Does anyone want to walk us through what they've managed to do? One or two? And that. Oh, yeah. I haven't uh, actually prepared a presentation, a slide, but uh, let me just walk you through like what I did so far. It's not completed, but yeah, as you said. Uh, yeah, that's just yeah. the whole point is really telling the story. Yeah. Let me share my screen. Is it visible? 
yes it's visible sure uh i have uh first of all i've i've tr tried to uh implement uh a flutter application for the employee and uh next JS application for the admin mm -hmm. so uh this is what the uh admin ad uh, dashboard look like so it has the whole like the plan or like uh, the whole like the plan of this project was to uh, have a dashboard for the admin to see how many employees are uh, like working on their like jurisdiction on map and uh, We lost. Can you hear me? Now you're back. Hello? Now you're yeah, back. Yeah. Because we lost you for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, it's uh, my connection. So uh, the whole like uh, dashboard uh, is. Uh, I was going to like implement uh, a map, and on the map, like I'm, I'm. I was going to. I, I was planning to like fish the, uh, the their location, the uh, the employees location, and show it here. The number of employees. And all these are like uh, these. The list of texts are the like the future uh, plan of this project. So uh, if the user is not logged in, is uh, is he will be or she will be prompted to uh, log in through their wallet. So I have already logged in. So it is showing my uh, it is showing this uh, uh, my address here. So if I were to uh, for some reason, the disconnect wallet didn't work for me. When I just clicked the, this disconnect wallet, it's just asked me to uh, log in with another account. And I couldn't debug it. Actually, this is one of the reasons why I spent quite a lot of time like uh, trying to fix it, uh, but like it ended up failing. But this is how we connect with the wallet. So this uh, web interface shows uh, the uh, the list the list of employees that has been registered, and if we want to register a new employee, we click this uh, register employee uh, button, and uh, uh, this form will pop up. And here we have to provide a full name, address, uh, gender, uh, allowed allowed distance in kilometer, uh, latitude, longitude and uh, date where the user is been registered. So this is uh, like, uh, we register and submit this. Uh, so like uh, the smart contract has been uh, written and everything, but what's mi what is missing is that uh, didn't quite like finish uh, connecting it uh, with the front end. Uh, application. So the front end is like programmed in Next.js, and here is uh, what my uh, smart contract look like. So uh, we have a number of funds, and uh, I have impl I have like when uh, implemented the concept of like strike limits. So uh, a user or an employee can be. Uh, cannot like surpass uh, the strike of three for example so like if the uh, employee would be out of uh, uh, out of like uh, his uh, assigned work location uh, the strike count will be increased here is how we uh, do it this update uh, update employee employee location uh, will uh, do will update here so if the strike is greater than or equals to uh, three, we're going to penalize uh, the employee. This hasn't been impl implemented, but the count will be uh, increased here. So uh, this is what basically uh, the calculate uh, distance, get employee info, uh, and uh, register uh, employee code look like. So this is the basic uh, 
functionality of the smart contract. Uh, let me show you the mobile application. Uh, where is it? Oh no, it's not running. So let me launch the mobile application. I, I hope this won't take too long. It is launching. So in the mobile application, uh, uh, there is the, the location provider the Dart file. This uh, provides, this gets the location. I use the geolocator library to get the location from uh, the user. So the user has to uh, input like their private key to, So let me copy, or actually we can, we can actually pass that. And here it shows the latitude and the longitude of the location of the, the user. So this is uh, the code that is enabling this to happen. So, uh, Still, this is not also finished. So like I have to uh, connect it with the smart contract. I have tested I, the smart contract using the uh, the hard hat uh, library locally. And I also used, uh, I mean, tested it in uh, the MX IDE as well. So it's working, but the, Connecting it is the missing part, I guess. So that's it. Good. Well done. I think that's, you know, these are all attempts, right? Just sometimes there are details. Like now, you know, the, the part is, I'm just thinking a number of you has done, you know, done really great work. You know, in one week, you managed to do all these, the pieces, you know, the pipelines, you established, you put the things. But then sometimes, you know, it, you have to think what is it then why can't i establish now okay given this why can't i sell it okay like let me let me just go to a company and say like okay you know we can do this and what is it that is missing like what is now the next thing if i were to do, to have funding for that i apply for you know some funding uh, startup funding and I, okay i get the funding and i'm going to work on it next 6 months what would be where would i be spending my time Right? Is it just the, the code that I write? It's no modular. Is it the security of the, the part or am I missing? So, you know, that, that's how we would just start thinking then again. Um, and, but overall, this is great. And hopefully, you know, one of you or you come together to actually realize something out of it. I think there's a lot of opportunity around this area and, and based on what you do, and a combination of that, including some people probably they haven't presented here, but they did probably a lot more on the testing and the security, or maybe did some other functionality approach. So I think this is great. This is why we want different approaches uh, for the same problem. But overall, wonderful. So let's meet in 20 minutes for the challenge walkthrough of this, this week uh, challenge. But well done again. The participation today was much better. So thank you everyone. Uh, but the only thing that is surprising for me is just the number is so small today and there was a, a high churn um, at the end. So we are now 17. I think we started somewhere around 25 or something. So I didn't understand what they, why that is the case. But overall, well done. Talk soon. I have an announcement, please. Just a small announcement. Yeah, go on. Yeah, for people who have submitted their picture, their photo in the office, please do so. You can either send on Slack or maybe I will send the link where you can upload it. But we need it. Thank you. Awesome. And you can also stop the recording. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. See you. In